Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add table view headers to your table view applications. Now this is part five in our little mini series of creating a table view application. So in the simulator here, I have our table view application that we have been creating of our landmarks and click on them, it shows us more kind of information about it and the image. Uh, here's our project here, which we'll be carrying on from it. It's our table view here. And if you noticed at the bottom on our, on our desktop here, we got two image files which we'll be using to uh, display as um, our header at the top. So if I just drag this down, in that white space above, above Big Ben will be our um, kind of header for our image there. So the reason I got two files here, just make it bigger, this is like a kind of like a landscape of a load of landmarks. Uh, reason I've got two files, you can see one's got the Retina extension. So if you want to learn how to create Retina images, make sure you go check out the Retina uh, Xcode tutorial that we have available. Okay, so to get started and jump straight into it, we need to add a new file. So control click or right click and go to new file. Select Objective C class and make sure it's a subclass of a UI image view. I'm um, simply going to name it table header view, nice and simple, and create that and add it to our project. So I'm just going to drag this up now so it's underneath our detail view controller. Uh, go to our table view header .h, and what we need to do now is just after our UI view there, I space it out so you can see, we need to do dash bracket id, and then close that bracket there, we do init with, uh, with text. So make sure you got a capital with the with and capital on the text. And um, we do colon there and we do bracket, two brackets there, and do ns string uh, with an asterisk at the end and I'll simply name it lowercase text. And then end that with a semicolon. If you just want to copy it and paste it underneath and then just change the ID here to a void statement and the init with text to simply set text. Now copy both of them and to save yourself a little bit of time jump into our table view um, dot m and get rid of all the common code and the init with frame as we do not need that and just paste those two bits in creating brackets and spacing them out nice and simple so there you go Okay then, so what we need to do now then is simply in our um, section here, our import section of our table head of view, if you do space, I'm going to space it out so you can clearly see what I'm about to type out now. We do at interface and the class name, which is table header view. Get rid of the subclass here and the colon and put two open kind of curly brackets there. Uh, we do a also let me do a, underneath a bracket open and close it and make sure you get the end uh, the at symbol end underneath the bracket there. So now we need to create a UI label. Now the reason we're creating a UI label is we if you wanted to add text on there as a title, uh, it's very simple. We could have added it to the image to make it look like it's a bit of text, but I'm uh, doing it this way. So you, if you want to add external text from the website, or if you want to update it regularly, or have like live information there, so I'm doing it like um, kind of hard coding it to uh, place it on top of the image. Now, by doing this as well, I'm going to be putting a lot of options on how to edit the uh, label. Now, because you can't do it in the interface, I'm going to show you how to do it here. So you can customize it that little bit further and gives you a little bit more information on how to customize labels as well as add the header for the table view. So we do UI um, label, space asterisk, and I'll simply name it label, and that with a semicolon. And then once you've done that, we go to our init with text section here. And then we start by typing UI image space asterisk, and I'll simply name it IMG. So it's really short for image, easy to understand. So um, brackets, uh, bracket UI image again, space image named. And we're going to stick our image name in here, which mine is header.png. No need to put the retina version in, uh, version in sorry, as uh, if it's got a retina screen, it will detect it and display it anyway. And now a bracket, semicolon, press enter, 
make a little bit of space. And now we're going to create like an if statement. So we do if in the condition bracket uh, self space equals space super um, self dot oh sorry self um, space equals space bracket super uh, in it with uh, image there we go uh, which is gonna be in a highlight section img which we've got a link dot to our header dot png and there are a bracket and the two little curly brackets in itself and in the statements we're gonna press enter so you can see we've got label the name of our label space equals space and we're gonna allocate it to our view so we do two brackets you are label space alloc uh, bracket in it with a frame the CG rect here we do CG rect make and I've got some preset coordinates but I'm not 100% on how they display on our image so I want to place them in and uh, so you can see so it's gonna be what I've got set is 10 from the left uh, from the top is 0 it's 200 in width and 100 in the height so they're the coordinates on how big the label is gonna be on our image view so you can mess around with them and like kind of you know sort it out and display it how you want to display it on your own app so at the end we do a semicolon and we press enter Let's make a little bit of space so you can see now I'm going to start adding all the options for the label such as the text color the background color and the font and how many lines are displayed within the label and so on so you can kind of customize it because you're not able to do it in the XYB so we do label dot text color space equals space bracket UI color space and I'm uh, gonna give it I'm gonna make it the the, um, the label black as you'll be able to clearly see it on the image view because it's white and green uh, black we should stand out a lot more so in that red bracket and press uh, semicolon now we do label dot um, background color now the reason I'm doing this one is in case you want to change the background color of it if you want the text to be in a big block of color it's entirely up to you but uh, I'm not really going to use it for this tutorial but so I'm just going to put clear color so it's transparent so there's no color in the background but the options there if you do need it uh, now we do label that font as we can do the font size you can also do a custom font so you can follow our custom font uh, tutorial so we do UI font Ooh. UI font uh, space system font size and I think 20 is going to be big enough uh, and then we do label dot text uh, and it's going to equal our text that we're going to kind of set it to in our table uh, view controller so end that with semicolon uh, all we need to do is number of how many lines we can add that in as well so number of lines uh, so here you can if you, if you only want the text displayed on one line just put one or if you got a little bit too much text to be displayed on one line simply put two or 22 it's entirely up to you put two and it will kind of make two lines within the label so I'll just put that for now I don't think I'm going to use the two lines but the options there and let me do bracket self uh, add sub view and the sub view is going to be our label and there we go and that with a semicolon now after our bracket section here we need to do return in the expression we do self and that with a semicolon okay then so now once we've done that we need to go to our set text section at the bottom here so our label dot text is going to equal our text it's very simple as we got our text all set up here so what it's actually going to equal or what it's going to actually be displayed will be in our uh, table uh, view controller dot hem here so in the view did load section we need to add our code in but before we do that we need to make sure this class is aware of our new table header view so we are going to import it and it's called table uh, header view there you go dot h add that in now it's up to you where you place it I'm going to place it just underneath our new button here so you can see it I'll make it a little bit more space so it's easy to see and what we simply do then is self dot table uh, view dot 
table view, um, table header view, sorry, space equals space bracket bracket, table header view, space a lock, and then space then init with text, and in this string here, at symbol quotation mark quotation mark, and that with a bracket and a semicolon. Now in the two quotation marks here will be the text that's going to be displayed in the label on our header view. So we've had some people landmarks as that's kind of what the old application's really about and it will display that in our label. So now if we go to build and run, oh before we do, do that sorry, I've missed out one crucial thing, we need to import our image files. So we just drag and drop those in to our supporting files. Make sure you copy items to destinations group folder. Now we go to build and run. And there you have it, you can see it's loaded up. Now it doesn't look that very nice with the label and stuff like that because it kind of didn't really um, position it very, very good. But as you can see, that's a simple, you know, head of view for our table view. If I jump back into our table header view dot, um, dot m and change this uh, kind of options here and maybe I give it instead of a black color a gray. Let's see if we can make it a little bit nicer to display. So let's find out now. So yeah, it's not too bad but that's simply how you, you can choose to add a label or not. It's entirely up to you but that's how you would do it if you really wanted to. So yeah, as you can see then our uh, kind of image is displayed in our table header view there. We have our label displayed over the top of it and it can be any text you want it to be. So it creates a nice little title for your table view. So I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. Uh, if you like it make sure you leave us a, um, a like and a uh, make sure you favourite as well as it really does help us out. Make sure you leave us a comment or you want to send us a message if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself. And uh, make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But most, most importantly, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. First, we're, ooh, there we go. Let's head back to the mine area. Oh, it's getting dark as well. Let me sleep so it's, it is full daylight. Bye -bye.